Hello, I'm Ron Soyland. Uh, this is part three of making a Fleming diode valve. Um, this time we will start with making the pinch. Let's go. Alright, we'll go ahead and we'll take our flare and we're going to go ahead and stick it. Then these out of the way here. Stick it in the flare holding tool. And we're going to clamp the uh, wires in the wire holding tool. Alright, that aligns it pretty good. Now, the first thing that we have to do is we have to heat the tungsten wire because when the tungsten wire was manufactured, uh, they were compressing the tungsten through a die. And this would take air and it would compress it into the surface of the metal. So the tungsten has a lot of air trapped in it. And if we just went ahead and clamped it right onto the glass without uh, doing anything to it, that air would be released and it would form bubbles. And that would go ahead and um, uh, make leaks. So what we're going to do is we're going to heat these pieces of tungsten to, to yellow heat so that um, we drive the air out of them. I've got to be very careful here so I don't overheat it. And um, melt, the, melt that uh, copper wire or melt the, the uh, nickel wire. Tungsten won't want to melt. Very difficult to melt the tungsten with the uh, torch. But the copper and the uh, nickel will melt very, very easily. All I'm doing is heating these up where they're very hot. And that drives the oxygen and the air out of the um, tungsten. Just do this for a few seconds here. That should do it. Now we'll position the wires up inside of the glass. That should do it. Now to do the pinch, we're going to use the double-sided to uh, torch. I'm going to grab the wires. First, I'm going to go ahead and preheat it a little so we don't shatter the thing. We don't have to do too much preheating on, on Pyrex. If it was soft glass, we'd have to do a very careful warm-up of this, otherwise we'd shatter it. But um, with Pyrex, we can just do a little preheating like this. That's good enough right there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the wires with the masher so that I don't melt the wires when I heat the glass. I've done that before, and it's very disappointing to have to start over again. Now I'm going to pinch it down. Now that pinches the, the wires into the glass. Now we haven't done the seal yet. The next one I'm going to do is the seal. I'm going to keep the masher on the uh, wires so I don't melt them. And I'm going to heat the glass up in the seal area. Okay, that's the seal. I just did a very strong mash on the seal. Now I'm going to catch the lead wires. Okay. Clean it up a little bit. You can imagine how difficult this would be to do without having the lathe to hold everything in position. That looks very good. Let that cool a little bit. I want to take a look at it with the uh, magnifying glass. Make sure we got a good seal. 
That's perfect. Okay, that takes care of our seal. Now, the next thing we have to do is get that tape off of there. We can't get that off of there just by peeling it. It's too strong a tape. We can get it off there very easily with a torch, though. That gets that sticky stuff that's um, the adhesive off of there, because that adhesive is really hard to get off of the wires if you don't burn it off of there. Okay, the next thing we have to do is we have to make the seal that's going through the side of the tube. Okay, this is our uh, this is our pinch. Now, for this one, we're going to be going through the envelope. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put a bead of glass. We're going to seal a bead of glass onto the tungsten and make the seal. And we'll have that bead of glass on there. And we'll pull that up to a hole in the envelope, and we'll be able to seal the envelope onto that bead of glass. That way, we don't have to try to make the seal while we're making the connection to the envelope. We, we would never be able to do that. It would, um, it would break and melt and turn into a mess. So we have to do it with a bead. So I'm going to go ahead and clamp the wire. And we'll take a little piece of uh, uh, co uh, glass tubing. I've made up a little piece of tubing here just by stretching a piece of thick wall tubing to make it into a, a little uh, capillary. I'm just going to cut a little piece of that. It's about the right length. should just slip on there. Okay, that's going to do perfect. Now, first thing we have to do is drive the air out of that tungsten. So we use the small torch. Be very careful on this one because it's only got about an eighth of an inch of tungsten. That means it would be very easy to burn that nickel wire off and have to remake it. That should do it. All right, I'll slip the piece of glass on there. I need to hold that in position while I get it to stick. All right. Now, what we're going to do is very carefully heat it. We'll start at one end, fuse it onto the copper, being very careful not to melt it. And now I'm going to just heat it as we go along, driving the air along the junction so we don't get a bubble in there. Now that's sealing the glass onto the tungsten. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and get the other end and seal it onto the nickel wire. Being very careful not to touch the wire with the flame or it'll burn it in half. Heat it very hot just for a second, just to make sure the seal is good. That's it. Take a look at it with the magnifying glass. Next, we have to make elements. 